In between, let's say, three weeks and three months, the only treatment you were getting when you weren't an inpatient was this marital counseling. Marital counseling, and then yeah, I didn't until I got my um, psychological, the um, neuro, neurological evaluation. That's when they came up with the cognitive rehab plan. You know, the, when would when was the neuropsych done? It was done in. Did it in February, and I got my results at the beginning of April. It's a long time to wait for. It is. Results, it? Yeah. The um, did you ever attempt to go back to work? I'm yeah, sorry. I was actually working by the time I went in to get my psychological evaluation. So, you you get hurt August fifteenth. When is it you first try to go back to work? Into October, the year after that, I was working at the camp. You know, I, I was working, and um, so by the November first, you're yeah. six weeks out. You're back to work. I'm back to work, and um, how does that work? How does that work out? Well, it felt good because I felt like that's where I belonged. I mean, um, I was very passionate about you know what I did with with um, people, and so it, it felt that felt good because I could relate more to the clients at that point than I could <laughs> anyone else. You tell me more about the job you had. Um, well, uh, like I said, I did behavior supports. We worked with some of the uh, most behavioral folks in, in Washington. Um, a lot of them, as the downsizing of institutions, you know, came from institutions. And so it's my job to behaviorally help, help, help them live independently. And so um, uh, I loved what I did. I worked with students at that point. Um, you ever heard of People First? Mm -hmm. um, People First is a, um, an advocacy organization worldwide. but. Um, we developed you know, respectful language. You know, you've probably heard of that. That's kind of our fame to claim is the respectful language law. Um, but um, we teach people that they're equal participants in the community. And um, and at that point, I was working with high school students um, that it was thought that they would never amount to anything. And um, and I remember Sean. He was someone I was supporting. One of the reasons I went back, he was in law school. And that was unheard of for somebody with a severe developmental disability. And um, He's actually our state's assistant attorney general right now, and so I've kept up with that, but my perspective changed.